Advertising and promotion the way it was is dead. Newspapers are going out of business. People aren't reading them. People are reading content online. People are watching TV, but they're watching it online, and or they're TV-owing it, and they're skipping through the commercials. People aren't reading magazines as much, or they're reading them online. Now, if your company has been surviving on these traditional forms of, of advertising, you need to rethink your position. If you have a website and it's really not updated and it's kind of left over from the beginning of, the, of the, this decade, it's time to redo it. It's time to build, you know, build an interactive site that generates content that you can put content on and you can drive an audience to. Um, also, you might think, oh, social media, it's interesting, but I don't have the time for it. Well, simply, you should make time for it or you should hire someone to do so. Ultimately, making money costs money, and that's the way it is. But if you want to build your brand and you want people to come to your your website and come eventually to give you money and build your build your business up, you need a few key elements. You need a website that is fully functioning. You need a website that has a blog integrated into it. You need to update that blog on a consistent basis. Now, consistent can be anything from once a week, once a day, to once a month. I wouldn't go much past once a month because that's it's a little too far away. But that doesn't mean you have to post the day that you want to blog. You want the blog to go out. It doesn't mean you have to post right then. You can schedule at least some WordPress, which is what I set up for my clients. You can set up, um, you know, you can sit down one day, spend four hours, spend three hours, spend that, as much time as you want. You can set up your your blog post for the next month, two months, three months. So you want to do it once a week. You can write four blog posts for that month, and then, then they're done, and they can schedule them out so they go out at certain times. Um, you can then supplement them with you know, links, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about cross-pollinization of the social media network and the social media sphere. Another thing you can do is just do a top ten list of the top ten reasons why pe people need auto insurance or need health insurance. People like crazy con consumable information that they have eaten something really fast. A blog post does not need to be this huge tome that is, you know, four to five printed pages long on the screen. People will not spend that much time reading it. People will read the first three to four paragraphs. If they're interested, they'll read a little bit more, but most likely they're not going to get to the end. So make sure your stuff's at the top. It's really good. And, you know, it's not worth writing this huge, you know, book of a, an essay when most people are not going to even be looking at it for that long. Um, you also want to be able to give, do some giveaways and, like, give away a free T-shirt or, you know, a free one if you say you're an author, give away, you know, a copy of your book every once in a while. Um, there are FC, FTC guidelines, Federal Trade Commission guidelines on giveaways. Make sure you re research that as well. But when you're blogging and you're updating your site, Google and, there, and, and the spiders on Google and MSN, you know, on, on Bing, will see your site, they'll see you're constantly updating your site, say this site's relevant, and you'll rank higher in the search engines because of that. Make sure you use good keywords, but you don't keyword stuff. Um, and then when it comes to social media, you need to go where your where your clients are. If you're B2B, LinkedIn is a great place to be. You know, converse on there, interact on there, join groups, join, you know, share links. Don't just, just sell, 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 sell. Be a human being. Contribute to the community. Give, you know, free information away. Help people with their solutions without always wanting something in return. And it'll, and it'll pay you back, you know, twofold, tenfold in, in return. Um, if you wanted to be B to B and B to C, which is you know, business to business and business to consumer, Facebook is a great place to be. Also, Facebook has the, the pay-per-click model on the side, you know, that you can actually drill down to the, the smallest, you know, common denominator of people. So you can make sure that you can pinpoint precise what demographic you want your ads to show up for. It's brilliant. You can also do Google AdWords as well, and we'll get into that a little bit later. What you also want to do is you want to think about Twitter. Now, Twitter is 140 characters. A lot of times you have to include a link if you want to, if it's going to be longer than 140 characters, which is not that bad. But Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and even YouTube, which is a video service that's done by Google, which I'm sure most people know about, are great places for all kinds of businesses. Now, 
back to the, 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 the time issue. Not having enough time to do all this stuff. You, there's a few different things you can do. You can hire, you know, a, a kid right out of college to be your social media expert. You can do that. You can hire someone like myself, you know, a social media consultant, a web designer to do all this for you as well. You can also get us to set it up for you and then you can, there's ways to cross pollinate your content. So your stuff from Facebook goes to your Twitter account. Your stuff from Twitter goes to your Facebook account. Stuff that you bookmark in Delicious, which is a social media um, bookmarking system. You bookmark a good link on one site, and it goes to your Facebook, goes to your Twitter, goes to your blog. And that way, everything's synergized, everything's in Kumbaya in a, in mode, and everything's working really great. And it, it lessens the time and effort needed to, to interact on social media. Now, you can you can completely automate all this stuff, but I do not suggest that. You want to have some individual one-on-one -on -one time with these services, and you want to, if you're selling a product, you want to actually build your brand up by giving superior customer service. Follow Comcast Cares on Twitter. Frank Elizion, he really has embraced Twitter and Facebook, and when someone complains about his brand, which is Comcast, he addresses it in there, and he talks to them, and he solves the problem, and he's made me a lifelong Comcast customer because they deal with my issues when I need them to be dealt with. He's a whole team of people who do that. So you need to be on Twitter just looking up at your, your brand and do some brand searches. But... um. On the whole, if you're not already online or if you only have a website that's not really up to par, it's really the time to either get on the ball or shut down shop. Because in the future, those who are left behind, it's going to be a bigger and bigger gap to catch up. And eventually, you're not going to be able to catch up and you're just going to lose out and have to shut down anyhow. So keep that in mind. Please connect with me on Twitter. I'm at, I'm at Seth Goldstein on Twitter. I'm at Goldstein Media on Twitter as well. Um, find me. You can find me over at my blog, SethGoldstein.net. You can find where else I am online at SethGoldstein.me. That's my Google profile. You can go check out my addicted to social media blog and podcast at a2sm.com. It's a the number two sm.com. And if you're interested in you know, hiring my company, Goldstein Media, to help you out with your social media plans and whatnot, please go to GoldsteinMedia.com. So take care, guys. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to interacting with you as well. So take care and um, get going with social media. It's a great thing. Bye-bye.